Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a surprise dragonster who didn't think it would be that quick to load Broken Sword 5, The Serpent's Curse, the new Let's Play Blind. Da, 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 da. As I was thinking about loading this up, I, I realised that The Serpent's Curse is almost certainly a reference to Genesis 3, so it'll be interesting to see what, what interpretation uh, this game has for Genesis 3, and if it's as weird as its interpretation of Exodus, uh, Exodus, ooh. I'm not entirely sure which bit of Exodus is that would be, because I think it was in Joshua that they used the Ark. No, mo no. No, or did they make it, and when did, when did, I can't remember when they made it. But Exodus, probably. Various other bits of it. I mean, the laws in Leviticus. Never mind, let's just begin. And hopefully we're not all left because of the theological ramblings of a weird man. If you've not played a point-and-click adventure before, then we recommend you play the short tutorial section. No start at episode two! No thank you. I don't want to do that. We'll try the tutorial. It might be entertaining. Well, first we'd like to show you how to discover and interact with interesting things in the environment. A humble red arrow. Move the mouse pointer to the red arrow tip. An animated magnifying glass will appear. Click. Done. That's how you discover and interact with hotspots. Well, okay, interesting things in the environment with which you can interact. Move by clicking there. Yeah, oh my goodness, it's a different animation style. It's going to be weird. Graphical style. That's how you get a character to walk where you want them to go. Select the torch. Pick it up. Okay, I, I don't think I need to do this. I thought this might have been a... a... Kablingle? Kablingle? Uh, I think I thought this might have had a bit of a story to it. Like its own little story thing. It's just literally just a tut tutorial. Uh, I think it's okay. Sort of inventory. Click on the bag. Uh, it's torch. Examine it. It's the fine looking torch you just picked. Okay, pick up the batteries. Oh, com combining. I will need to know this stuff. Uh, click on one object and then move it over the other object. Ah! Uh well, then you've successfully used the batteries on the torch to power it up, and finally, you can use this inventory items. Open, lit torch on the ghost. Uh, the ghost? The goat, that one. Hint section can help you progress. Yeah. Uh, move the password at the top of the screen. Oh, it's that kind of mechanism. Okay. Yay, I completed the tutorial. Huzzah, I got a kaplingle. Yes, start new game. But the serpent was wise and all the animals were in paradise. And God cursed the serpent and called him devil. And he said, behold, Adam has become like one of us, knowing evil from good. Testimony of... Battle not with monsters, lest you become a monster, and if you gaze into the abyss, the abyss gaze also into you. Friedrich Nietzsche. Quoting Nietzsche and a random gos random Gnostic gospel. <sighs> I've been trying not to get angry and rant at games. I really have. This is going to be my gravest challenge. Catalonia, Spain, 1937. Uh, when in Spain? When in 37? Because I think the, the um, Civil War should be starting soon, if it's not already. It has already, I see. That, that, okay. He's either the villain or the one of the people we help. We must go now. Papa! Tiago, go with your mother to the trap. Take this. It will always be your guide. Okay. Yes, he's the villain or he's we someone we help. Shortly. You're going to die. The painting. That's... Maledictio. That, that's not how frames work. That's really not how frames work. 
you have the glass over the frame to protect the, the painting, or you have it actually in the frame. So you, you would have to take the frame, or take it off the, take it out the frame. I take it back, I think he's the villain. Of course. Paris, present day. Paris in the spring. Passion, romance, l'amour. I was working in art insurance. It paid the rent. Just about. Yay. And then, by chance, I met Nico at a private view. Yay. You didn't tell me that you were back in Paris, George. We should catch up. Let's have lunch. Nobody move. No, monsieur. Not la malédiction. Oh. Stay back. Once again, Paris had shown me her dark side. A brutal robbery, a senseless murder. Nico and I were about to be drawn into a new and terrifying adventure together. I would, I had hoped so, otherwise this would be a really short game. The gallery owner was dead. I guess sometimes playing the hero doesn't pay. My company had insured the exhibition, so I had a crime to solve. The cops would be here soon. I didn't have much time. Oh, and the, oh, right, and that's from the 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 the, 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 the tutorial. <gasps> a thing, <gasps> another thing. <gasps> Chewing gum, the pizza box. Uh, I was just thinking something, and I can't remember what it was thinking. Ah, yes, there we go. Uh, City of Love, Vie de la Mort. Which also happens to be City of Death. That's something from um, Thingy. What's it? Uh, uh, Doctor Who. How did I forget the name Doctor Who? Really, really. The alarm still worked on that painting. Hmm. I wondered why the stolen painting's alarm hadn't sounded. Hmm. Stolen painting. This was where the stolen painting had hung. Yes. Why that painting? And why kill for it? The stolen painting had an alarm, which should have sounded when the painting was removed. I needed to find out why it hadn't. Hmm. So... The alarm wasn't broken. I suspected foul play. Mm -hmm. Chickens. How terrible. I pressed the vibration detector pad. Nothing happened. Oh! Oh! Puzzle! Oh, hello. So that was why the alarm hadn't sounded. A wire had been uh, cut. Not puzzle. By someone who knew exactly what they were doing. Oh. This was an inside job. It's a mirage. Did I just get an achievement for that? That is that is insulting. It was the speaker cone for the alarm. Mm. It hadn't sounded when the painting was stolen. I, I, I love the weird kind of thing. <laughs> the weird things I'm complaining about in this game. We haven't even got to the theology yet. The door was locked. <laughs> The wires uh. from the camera ran to the room behind. It must have captured the whole robbery. If I could get the code to the keypad, I might be able to shed some light on the crime. Talk to the priest. Excuse me, Father. Yes, my son. I'm George Stobart. My company insured the exhibition. My name is Simeon. Is there anything I can do? You can pray for his soul. A senseless murder. On the contrary, this killing makes plenty of sense. What do you mean? A great evil has taken place. This is the work of the devil. What? I am a Dominican priest. 
I know these things. And now, excuse me, I must pray. One minute I'd been planning dinner with Nico, the next I was talking art theft, murder, and the devil with a priest. Okay. And I thought he was Catholic. Oh, did Twilight. In Omri's pocket was a tiny bottle. Tiny it bottle. Was a bottle of bread. The label claimed it would wake the beast within. There was a small piece of paper in the dead man's hand. Two aces, two eights. Not to take a look. <laughs> it read, 2.30 p.m., be ready. Innocent enough, until I realized that the robbery took place at 2.30 p.m. There was something fishy going on around here, and it wasn't just the canapes. I quickly replaced the note. Hmm. I didn't want Henri's blood on my hands. No, it's on someone else's. Poor guy. No, the button. The button's wrong. The button's wrong. He definitely looked better. I put the glasses back where they were. Best to leave the evidence the way I found it. Why did you move them to begin with? You numpty. 30 be ready. A cryptic note in a bottle of overpowering cologne. No personal effects or anything else of substance. I definitely needed to check out that office. Yes, I'm aware of this. I'm trying to work on it. What have we got? Ah, Brett. The fragrance that dare not speak its name. It's fragrance. It's not capable of speaking a name. It was my phone. Mankind's most treasured possession. Oh, terrifyingly accurate. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Can we leave a voicemail message? No. Nico wasn't answering her phone. No surprise. Okay, there's, there's further end on the map. Let's look at the chewing gum. It was a blob of chewed gum. Oh, can't pick it up. It was Hector Lane, France's greatest art critic. We had met before. It hadn't ended well. For a moment, I thought he was dead. But from the snoring, I guessed he'd only fainted. Lane was out cold. I was going to need something to bring him around. Oh, 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 oh. Toilet. Time to awaken the beast. <coughs> what? <coughs> ah, that thing. Are you are you involved in this? Uh, what was that? It smells like like the seventies. Where am I? You fainted. Yoink! The nail clippers were monogrammed with the letters HL. Hector Lane. They must have fallen out of his pocket. Nail clippers, eh? Could they be used to, for example, clip wires? Hmm. The thief left the pizza box behind. I wondered what was in it. Well, no surprise there. Pizza. Get a real pizza too. The guy must have been hungry. There was only one slice left. Get the actual pizza so you get the box. Did I just pick up the pizza? I picked up the pizza. No one had noticed the pizza box fall onto the floor. I decided to leave it alone. Okay. Is there anything up there to interact with? No. So you'd think that's somehow relevant. Welcome back to the land of the living. I wouldn't exactly call this living. I'm well, not Simeon, so Don't just let him stand there. Get me something to eat. I've had a terrible shock, you know. Okay, I have pizza. Here is some pizza. I found a slice of pizza. I asked for food, boy, not a cardboard simulacrum. Oh, okay, if you don't want it. I didn't say that. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. Um, nom, 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 nom. Given the circumstances, that was surprisingly acceptable. Uh, now, what's been going on? Uh, oh. No, no, it's Father Simeon, wasn't it? Is he dead? Uh. Poor chap. 
just like him to steal the limelight, though. I beg your pardon? I thought I was being insensitive. Excuse me. Do I know you? Yes, our paths have crossed. In the Glees Gallery? Of course. The man with the absinthe. I don't suppose you... Uh, afraid not. Pity. I'm sorry, but I'm having trouble remembering your name. I'm George Stobart. I insured the exhibition. <laughs> I hope you have deep pockets then, my boy. Could I ask you a few questions, Mr. Lane? Fire away. Um. Uh, let's go through. Henri. Did you know the gallery owner? Of course. We worked together on the exhibition. Oh, really? Henri provided the space. I was the creative powerhouse. How long had you known him? As a friend, many years. Our professional relationship had only recently blossomed into this exhibition under my curatorial wing. And now the poor fellow has gone and got himself killed. If Lane was involved with the gallery, then he had to know the code of that door. He probably also had access to the um, alarm system. And with the nail clippers, he probably had a way of cutting the wires. And that's probably why the note was there. 2.30, be ready. Don't do anything, they'll get yourself killed. Hmm. Do you know anything about the stolen painting? Of course, dear boy. La Maledicio, a little-known work, turned up at the last minute. What about the killer? Were you able to get a look at him? A delinquent in a tin hat. Beyond that, I don't really recall. Oh, yeah, you fainted. Those of us with a higher aesthetic are more sensitive to violence. Oh, okay. More things popping up. The gallery. So, you curated the exhibition? What's it about? A brilliant retrospective. Of? A dialectical window on European art's ongoing discourse with the unresolved psychoses of the nation-state. In English. Wow. You took the words right out of my mouth. How about some more of this? I don't think so. As a cell volatile, it was acceptable. As a cologne. It would be barbaric. <laughs> Are these your nail clippers? Of course. See, they're monogrammed with my initials. Ah, oh, they're in my pocket now. Uh, La Maledicio artist. Who painted the stolen painting? Therein lies a mystery. We only know his pseudonym, El Serp. He was a Catalan, a modernist. His works are symbolic, religious. You say that like symbolic and religious are, su are pseudonyms? No. Synonyms. That word. What can you tell me about the stolen painting? It's gone. La Maledicio? A challenging piece. If you like a wide cast of obscure saints and fringe Christian symbolism, of course. Not especially valuable, though. The thief won't get much for it on the black market. So therefore, we can only deduce it, so it's not valuable for intrinsically. The symbolism must be similar to the other manuscripts you've had in previous Broken Sword games. There's a surprise. And it must point to a particular other thing that, we're at, that people are after, and is in and of itself incredibly valuable. 